After all that's just happened, life, every flawed morsel of it, seems more precious to you than ever. You look around at those who have accompanied you so far. In each one, something unique shines through. Divinity has eluded you so far, but humanity, humanity beats strong within you, here and now. Who knows what lies ahead for you, for your companions? Your quest failed. The void is growing stronger, and the hall is dark. You feel the need for some affection. Perhaps they feel it too. Ifan raises an eyebrow, and his sharp teeth glint in a wide smile. Rest? With you? Yes. Let's go. As you move to go below decks, the live wood creaks and groans. The steps you thought you knew lead you to a part of the ship you've never seen before. A newly carved nook that smells of resin and wood chips. Touching the wall beneath your fingers, the live wood hums at your touch. You understand that the Lady Vengeance has carved this space for you, in gratitude for your help. You enter and feel the presence of the ship recede, offering you the total privacy of a moment alone with your companion. The first moment you have been truly alone together. So, uh, here we are. Ifan laughs, full and throaty. Well, that time you slipped on Voidwoken Ikor and ended up covered in it was pretty special. All the time it rained really hard in the graveyard and your clothes... Uh, I... I suppose I really like spending time with you. What's meant most to you on our journey? Ifan smiles and moves even closer, nuzzling at your neck with his nose. His beard tickles your reddening throat. Aside from your voice, the only sound is the whisper of fabric between your bodies. Dear one. Ifan's hands reach for your own. His magnetic eyes seek yours. You know this man. He is ruthless, capable of anything. These hands that hold your own have tortured, maimed, killed. He pulls you close to him, his hard, lean body pressing against you. He leans in to kiss you. It is not a gentle kiss. It's primal, wild even. Your lips bruise and your tongue tastes the metallic tang of blood. You. Everything is so dark, so grey. But you. You're bright. When you shine your light on me, everything else is bearable. Ifan leans back to take in the sight of you. His dark eyes travel over every inch. He reaches out and traces the bow of your lips with his fingers. I know I shouldn't stare, but I... I just... can't stop. I wish you could see yourself as I see you now. You're incredible. Ifan growls and presses close to you, so you can feel how very much he wants this. His hot breath warms your face. He grasps your ribcage with strong, warm hands. You feel yourself lifted from the very earth into some other realm. Ifan's fierce, dark pupils fill your vision. I crave you. Every step of the way I've wanted you, since the moment we met. I've tried to conceal it, but... I can hardly breathe around you. I've dreamed of this moment so often. You can't even imagine. My thoughts are always, always consumed by you. Your smile, your spirit, your soul. Ifan undresses you slowly, removing every last stitch of clothing from your body. The warmth of his own body ensures you feel no cold, and the warmth of his gaze ensures you feel no embarrassment. Pulling his tunic over his head, you reveal Ifan's muscular body, all scars and sinew. He grins, eager, pointed teeth parting, and embraces you, so you are completely enveloped within his strong arms. In the low lamplight, the wider world fades away. Sweat glistens where your bodies meet. There is nothing but wonder, eyes, hands, and tongues. Let's... Ifan's feral eyes glitter ravenously as he looks deep into your own. He moves into you and kisses you again. He tastes of earth, dark earth, and night. Fire runs through your veins, licking at every nerve in your body. Every movement from him sparks a charge, like chain lightning in a storm. 
There is nothing, nothing at all but you and him locked together. The fire inside you shivers and blazes, filling you with light and life, obliterating all the darkness within you. Ifan cries out. You, you are everything. And in that one moment, you feel it. If Anne shoots you a fond smile, warm and sleepy. That... I needed that. Glad to hear it. He embraces you tenderly, squeezing you tight before pulling away with a rueful grin. Right. Let's get back to the ship. Hello, gorgeous. Bright eyes flashing eagerly, Ifan leans in to kiss you. Ifan steps closer, pressing into you with the whole length of his body as he wraps strong arms around you. He's so warm, and a rich scent rises from him, storms and leather. He kisses you like a man starved, then nuzzles into your neck, scratching your skin with his beard. It tingles wonderfully. Just as you're wondering if he's going to take you right here and now, he pulls away with clear regret. I know, I know. We've got work to do. So, uh, what did you want to talk about? No need for thanks. You're still the natural choice. Everything. If Anne glances at you from under dark lashes, a shy smile on his lips. Even though the whole world is going to hell, for me, Everything is better than before, but I can't lose you to all this. I've lost, well, everybody else. There's few enough rays of light left in this world, and you're the brightest. Ifan pulls you into his strong arms and holds you close, kissing the top of your head tenderly. <laughs> 